Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to process a batch deposit in Zero. So this is when, in this example, when a customer pays multiple invoices to you in one go. So instead of paying one invoice, they've paid you a bulk payment for multiple invoices. Now there's a few different ways of doing this. I'm gonna show you the couple of different ways, but then I'll go through and I'll tell you in what instance you might use this particular method. So let's first off, let's go have a look at the invoice register. Now let's say that we've received remittance advice from a supplier. The supplier is called Dimples Warehouse and they've told us that they today have paid three invoices. So let's do a search for Dimples here. Actually, we're going to go to the awaiting payment tab and we're going to do a search for the customer called Dimples. There they are, Dimples Warehouse. So they've sent us remittance saying that they've paid today on the 25th of October, invoice 1043, 1044, and 1045, totaling $1,000. Now let's say that we want to be able to mark these as paid and produce an aged receivables report for management at the close of business today. So that means if we usually work off the bank rec when we're matching off invoices, we're not going to get that information until tomorrow because the bank feed won't come through until tomorrow. But we want to run the report today to make sure that we can present an accurate age receivables report or a debtors report today, we're going to process it through the invoices register. Now what you can do, you can go through and you can tick them off individually. There's nothing wrong with doing that. The end result is the same. It's a bit more work and it's not quite as uh, visible in zero as to what's happened because you're marking off an individual payment for 230, an individual payment for 220, and an individual payment for 550 rather than a singular payment for $1,000, which is what they've done. But you can do it. So you'd go in here, you'd mark off Today, the 25th of October, pay to the business bank account. And then you'd add the payment. And you'd do that for all of them. But the way I'd probably suggest to do it, so that it's more in alignment with what has happened, in that they've paid a lump sum of $1,000, you can tick it off here. Tick the three off. And you can see here, it tells you how many items are selected and what the total amount adds up to. And you can see now we've got three items selected, $1,000, which matches the remittance. So then we can go deposit. The payment date, 25th of October. Payment, I will say batch payment. I can't spell today. Uh, dimples. The bank account, let's go into the business bank account. You can put the check number in here or the reference number from the EFT transfer. And if they've paid any invoice for a different amount, you could say, um, you know, they've only paid 500 off this one, for instance, and then they'd bring the total payment down to 950, but they've paid in full. So we're not gonna make any changes there. And then you simply go deposit. Very good, and if you want, you can send a receipt as well to Dimples Warehouse. And that is done from that angle, but now you're gonna to have to go and do a reconciliation. So in this instance, if they're paid today, being the 25th of October, you're not gonna be able to tick it off in the bank rec until tomorrow when the bank feed items for today come through. So that's when working through the invoice register is the way you wanna do it. Now let's just say that today isn't the 25th of October and that we can see the $1,000 coming through on our bank rec. So we've processed this for the 25th of October. We're gonna go now do the reconciliation. Now 
You need to scroll down and find the $1,000 on the 25th of October. Not there, we'll go to page two. There it is. It doesn't really tell us anything here, but we know from the remittance advice and we, that we've already processed um, the receipt in the invoice register according to that, that this payment here is from Dimples. And you can see here it's already matched it. Payment multiple items, ref batch payment Dimples. Well, $1,000. So it's come through as a lump sum $1,000. You can click OK and then that's job done. Now let's say that you don't like working out of the invoice register or you just prefer working off the bank feed. That's fine as well, as long as, like I was saying at the top of the video, that you don't necessarily need to be running a, a receivables report on the day that you receive money. Um, because um, if you're working off the bank feed, you're not going to be able to close off that invoice until the next day. So I've just deleted that payment, and I'm going to show you how you can do it. So we received remittance advice. We know what the $1,000 is for. We've come in the next day, so we can see the $1,000 on our bank feed. And I'm not going to bother going into the invoices register here and processing a deposit or processing the invoices individually as paid. I'm just going to cut to the chase and do it straight through the bank rec, which is usually how I like to work. But it's up to you on depending on your reporting requirements and just your personal preference as well. So we've got the $1,000. What we have to do here is we have to go find and match. If you go to create a new receive money in here, what it's going to do, it's going to essentially create a duplicate transaction if you're working on accruals basis because it's going to show a, receive, a received money for $1,000 and it's going to show these open invoices here as well. But if you're running a cash basis report, the sales figure will be correct, but you're going to have these invoices here still showing as unpaid when they are actually paid. So you don't want to do a spend money. It's really important. You have to match it off against the invoice. Not a receive money, sorry. You have to match it off against the invoice. So we're going to go find and match. We can see it here already. But if you've got a great big list and it's not coming up and we know it's 1043, 1044, 1045, you can search by supplier, by customer rather, and it can bring them up, there it goes. Or if you had like a, maybe 20 invoices for dimples and you wanna just search by invoice number, you can do that as well. So we go 1043, that's one, we'll tick that. 1044, yep. 1045, yep. And now you can see once we've selected the third invoice, this is lit up and it's able to be reconciled. So we go, okay. So that's how you do it if you're working off the bank feed. Now, when we go back to our invoices register, if we clicked on the awaiting payment tab, that would they wouldn't be on that list anymore because they've been paid. But I'll just show you, we'll stay in the all tab because we want to search for the paid items. And here they are, they've all been paid. And if we click into one of them, it'll show us it payment on 25th of October and you can click in further and it'll take us to that $1,000 batch deposit. So as you can see here, even though we didn't process the payment in this part of the example, we process it off the bank feed, not through the invoice register. It has still created a batch deposit the same as if we did process it through the invoice register. So the end result is exactly the same. It just depends on what angle you tackle it from, from the invoice register or from the bank feed. No right or wrong way of doing it, just depending on your reporting requirements, like I said, and how you prefer to work in zero. Now that's pretty much it, guys. Just a pretty quick and easy video here. If you wanted to book in a training session, feel free to go down into the description of the video. 
We've got a link there to our website, Q Training, and you can go in there and book a training session if you want to go through some things in more detail. We'd be happy to help where we can. If you learned anything from the video, I'd really, I'd really appreciate if you could hit the like button. And of course, if you want to see more, please subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.